Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Misadventures of Tron Bond. Where last time, we took on the second level of Mission 2, where we collected coffee and flour to help pay off our debts. Today, we're heading on to level 2 of Mission 3, the dugout searching for the Aurora Stones. The goal of this mission is to find the legendary Aurora Stones in the ruins. Alright, let's get this mission meeting started. Let's check out the details of what we're going to be doing. This time, we're going after the Aurora Stones again. There's, been, there's still two more left in the ruins, so I want you to go get them. But Miss Tron, we went everywhere we could last time. That's why I built the Surfbot Borer. Remember that place in the ruins where the ceiling had collapsed? Um, yes, I guess. Ah, <sighs> can't you remember anything? Anyway, I want you to use the Servbot board to dig deeper into the ruins. Don't forget to talk to the diggers and have them help you. Just don't let them get to the treasure first. Alright, get going. Yes, Miss Tron. Alright then. Next up, we're going to check out the robot, and it is so good to know that we don't have to buy the Servbot board. For this mission, we'll be using the mini robot Finkel. From this mission, one of the Servbots will be driving the Servbot Borer. As before, use beacon bombs to tell the Servbots where to go and what to do. Excellent! And then let's go ahead and pick our Servbots. Also, I do like that the map uh, that they're showing on screen is basically exact to the map that we explored in the first level. For this mission, you need a Servbot to drive the Borer and others to get items. The Servbot currently assigned to the Borer is number 17. Uh, let's go ahead and change these up a bit. Actually, real quick, let's go back. No, no, no. Uh, I want to go completely back. You know what? We'll just go through the menu again. Because I have been told, actually, to check a certain option in this menu. No! Come on! Game, please. Why did you just go through? There. Read rules. The only ability that has any effect on the boar is the Servbot's attack rating. The higher the attack rating is, the more damage the boar will do in combat. Alright then. Let's go ahead and select our Servbot. We want someone with high attack and preferably not maxed out brains. So number one's immediately looking promising. And that'll give us our best results while also allowing us to up our brains ratings. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking number one is going to be actually just the best option. But yeah, I was told to check out the read rules because it actually does give a surprisingly more detail than I expected about how the stats affect each section of the game, which is really good to know. The other servbots currently assigned are number four and number six. Let's go ahead and read the rules for here. Here's how the ratings of the other servbots function. A high attack rating means they do more damage when they attack. Fair. A high speed means they can move faster. Fair. And a high brains means they can find and pick up more items. Oh! Okay, interesting. So brains might actually make it easier for them to pick up the damn card keys on the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna want someone who's not maxed out in brains, but decently high in the other stats. And I'm also curious about bringing along someone who has a bazooka or slings or grenade skill. Since I believe those can actually have a, a good effect, but that might just be in mission one or four that they do. Let's see. Okay, so all of our weaponry skills are going to be up here, and it looks like they all already have a brains of four. So let's go with number three. And shoot, I would love to bring one of the, uh, one of them with slings or grenades or bazooka with us, but I need to get those brain stats up continuously. Then again, we are at a point where the only ones we have left to get brains up are 20, 23, and 27, which aren't available yet, so... I guess it doesn't matter too much? 
We're bringing one with- we're bringing two with not max out brains, so I guess we can afford to bring one that does have max out brains. Let's bring... Let's bring number six. Yes, Mistron. Alright then, let's begin the mission. Alright, so, since we've already explored the bulk of this dungeon, there isn't really much, I don't think anything, for us to do in this original section that we start in. So we're just gonna head forward right onto the hole we can dig through. You want us to dig a hole here, right, Miss Tron? That's right, blast those rocks out of the way! Yes, Miss Tron, ready to begin blasting! Alright! Let's go ahead and send them in. And that tears a hole right through it. Before we head in, I actually am gonna do one quick loop through the dungeon. Just to see if there's any more like uh any more tunnels like this, because I seem to remember there being some. Indeed, I do know that. I just wanted to check if there were any other places we could dig, but okay, thank you. Fine, I guess we don't have to explore. Okay, let's move on, but be ready. This is where things get really tricky. Tricky? Okay, Miss Tron, we'll be ready. I hope. This place looks very different, and since it was sealed off... This is going to be very unexplored territory. Okay, I'm gonna wanna be really careful here because since it is unexplored, there is a potential for reaver bots and traps everywhere. Hello there. All right, good thing to get right off the bat. Let's see, there is, there's a few places we can drill, and someone who's apparently been trapped down here. How did you get in here? We only just opened this place up. Go, sir, but go. You tear through that wall. Hmm. Hmm. Something feels off about that. I'll be back to it in a minute. So there's just a child trapped down here. I am very uncomfortable with that. How did you even get in here? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I am gonna go open that chest. It feels really suspicious. Something about it feels off. Oh, it was already unlocked. That's why the lights were off. Well, it's something. Got it! I guess we were fine all along. You have fun here, Zag. Okay, let's see. A few paths to go. North goes to a- No, 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 Hi! We've got an Aruda coin down here. What are you doing? Thank you, Sir Fox. I am very glad I caught that in time. It would have sucked for the Aruda coin to just snipe me when I was at, uh, looking in its direction. Okay, you're locked, but we do have a card key. Hey, Miss Tron, look! It's a treasure box! Can we use the card key to open it? 
as long as we have as many keys as there are boxes. Oh, that is fantastic. That's actually one of the items that I very specifically wanted us to get while we're here. So I am very glad we picked that up. Oh, we've got an auto coin down there. I see it. Go, sir, bots! Destroy it! Excellent. There are a lot of paths in here. Huh. Okay, so there's a new area down there we can't get to. Then I guess we're just gonna keep going this way. Good work, Sir Bob Bor. Okay, left, I don't see anything. Right is a kid. Seriously, how did these kids get in here? I am very concerned. All right. Uh, I'm going to assume it's fine to go in here. If there's like a staircase or something, oh. Mm. Mm, I'll come back to that. Okay, I don't see any reaver bots. So we should be good to check out this wall. Just gotta remember before we move on to check out that central room. Okay, we're gonna need another card key. Still no reaver bots. Oh god. Oh, these open caves are giving me a little bit of anxiety, not gonna lie. Oh, but this goes to dead ends. And there's no reaver bots down there. Okay. Let's see, we can go right or left. Let's go right first because it goes up. And that hole is glittering. Yay! It's drawn! We found some money! Not bad. Good! Keep your eyes open for more! It is something. Alright, anything hiding down here? I am nervous, but there's absolutely nothing. Okay then. I would have expected a trap if there was no treasure, but okay. Okay, real quick. Nothing. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Then let's check out what's behind here. And then we'll go back to that middle room. Card key! I don't like that the tunnel keeps going, and I know it's a dead end right after, but... I have seen this game try to trick me and lead me into traps a few times, so I'm not exactly eager to fall into more. Okay, heading back here, we've got this chest we need to open. Of course you can. Oh, that is very handy. Effectively 2000 setting. But yeah, with how hard this game kicked my ass back in uh, Mission 1 2, I'm gonna need that. Oh no! Huh? What's this? Oh no! There's fever bots everywhere! We're just gonna have to fight our way out! Go, Sir Butts! Go, Sir Butts! Go! Go, Sir Butts! Please! 
Oh god, there's so many. Thankfully, they seem to be fairly passive. They're not coming after me. No? Why did you hit them towards me? Okay, that is one down, many to go. And yeah, one of our serve bots, the one with the grenade skill, is actually throwing bombs. So that is very good to know. I'm very glad I brought you off. As long as we stay over here and they stay over there, we will be fine. Something interesting indeed. Thanks, Zig. Can't believe we were trapped like this. Oh my god. Thank you, Sir Buttboard. Just drove right through it. Oh crap. Okay, just, what, two left? We're almost free. I'm never trusting a child's advice again. I say playing as Tron Bon, who has to be like 12 or 13 in this game. Because she's 14 in the first game, and this takes place like a year or two before the first. Okay, is that everything? Are we good? There's no loot in here? Okay, it was just completely a trap. Zig? Zig? Yeah, you better run. You better run, you brat. How dare you lead me into a trap? Not that he could have possibly known. Alright, continuing south. And what do we have? See any reaper bots? We got a tunnel over there and. Hello! Miss Tron, look! Something shining over here! We're in luck! That's an Aurora fountain! I can recharge the Finkel's energy by going inside it! That's good news! If we get in trouble, we should come back. Good to know we have a heal spot at this point in the dungeon. We will definitely have to come back if we need it. I'll probably prioritize that over the e-bottles if... Hi! Oh, you're one of the bird bots. You're one of Glide's bird bots. Uh-oh, Miss Tron, it's those birds that work for Loth again. Load? What are they doing down here? Miss Tron, we should get out of here! Oh no! You're not going anywhere! Give up now! Alright, crap! We have a boss against a bird bot! Did not expect to run into one of these! And you have a bad habit of throwing bombs! Go, my sir! Wow. Cowards. No, no! This bird bot's actually just toasted. That's why you gave up. Okay, this room is wide. Let's see. Let's head down here, and there's a drillable wall right there, but I want to make sure we're safe first. Okay, I think we're good. Now, how would you want to bet this is another trap? If it's a separate, if we're gonna go into a separate room, this is going to be another trap. But if it's part of the same map, we're fine. Oh jeez. Oh Jesus. Okay, you're just a digger. You're just a digger. I thought you were some funky-looking reaver bot. Who are you? Is something the matter? I was trapped. You say as a pirate who continuously robs people and destroys their homes. But yes, she is correct. It is nice to help people. Ha <laughs> ha. How does it feel to be 
fried chicken. Okay, let's see. I believe that is going to be where we use the gate key. And over here, mm, it's just pots. And it looks like we've got another one of Uncle Dig's messages over here. getting it as we go and that's two of three so as long as the last one is in lo oh hello I take it the servbots don't like snakes but yeah as long as the last one isn't like trapped or anything we should be good okay wait a minute 28,000 Okay, we actually are earning money. For a second, I was like, wait, are the servbots dropping the money because they're scared? But let's keep going. We can just keep getting money. These ha this has to run out of- ow. Okay, that was on me. I should have waited. This has to run out eventually, right? Does it not run out? I'm gonna keep going until it runs out. Or until I decide that it's definitely not going to run out. Oh, 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 oh. It does run out. Okay, and that put us up to 74,000. That's like 50,000 any total from that? Very nice. All right, gates open and we can head forward. Looks like main path is to the right and dead ends in front. Okay, this is just a copy paste of an earlier area. Got ourselves another card key. Can't wait to open a chest with that and we got some money in a hole. Okay, I guess it's not a straight copy paste. Three thousand. That's good, but we need more. We need as much as we can find. It's okay, Tron. We're doing a good job. We've already got like seventy-seven thousand. We've already got almost eight percent of our debt in this dungeon alone, and that's before finding the Aurora Stone. Okay, map looks like we've got a trap coming up. Hi. What's happening here? What are you doing? Are you waiting for someone? All of us wait for something. Ooh. What? This place is just full of weird people. My name is Tuttle. This lake is a trap. There's more here than meets the eye. Okay, so there is something here in the lake, but it's a trap. Let's take a quick look. I want to know what's going on with this lake. So we've got very clear stalactites. Yeah, you have fun with that. Hmm, maybe... 
What are you doing? Oh my god, they can just swim all the way out there. I wanted you to see if you can mess with the stalactites, but... Hmm... Maybe we can't go through here yet? Maybe this is for later on? Because the Finkel won't go any further. They don't seem to want to examine these stalactites. Seriously, what are you doing, dude? We'll have to come back later, then. Oh, God. Hi, Zig. Hi, Zag. Welcome to Zig and Zag's Quiz Corner. If you answer correctly, we'll open the locked doors for you. Do you want to play? Sure. All right. Question one. What is the name of the treasure in this cave? That's the Aurora... Uh, the Aurora Stone. Correct! Next, question two. What's the name of the incompetent digger? Dance. Correct! Next, question three. What's the name of the digger who carries a pick? Carries a pick? That was mod? Correct! Next, question four. What's the name of the digger who writes notes? Who writes notes is Dig. Correct! Next, question five. What color of switch stops a steel ball trap? I don't think we've encountered that before. I think red is fire. Green? No, blue. Red. Correct! Next, question seven. Which key opens a locked room? Room key. Correct! Next, question eight. What's the color of the first Aurora stone you found? Oh, that's a good question. I think it was blue? Oh my god. Um, rude child. Rude child. Huh. I'm gonna lowball it? Correct. Last question. It's a hard one. What's the name of this island? Oh my god. Uh, it's not catalogs, it's not Capcom, so it has to be right ship. Correct! Congratulations! A perfect score! We'll open all the doors for you! How Huzzah! Did you have fun? Uh, I guess? Alright, well, they opened all the doors for us so we can go check out all the loot, and there is a lot of it. That goes forward. That appears to go to a boss. Hmm. That'll stop. Miss Tron, did you hear that? It sounded like it came from back there. It's from the direction of the lake. Let's go check it out! Yes, Miss Tron! Well, okay then. Let's go check the lake again. What have we done? And now there is a treasure box. Alright, sir bots, do we have a key? I think we have a key. Do it! Alright, here we go! Miss Tron, we found a room key inside! Alright, we can use that to get into the treasure room! 
All right, that'll get us to the boss then. So the west door definitely goes to the boss. Let's check out all the other rooms first. We've checked northwest. Let's check east for another fountain to heal us up if we need it. We've got another key. Uh, we'll go up the- Hmm, actually, you know what? I think I know exactly where this leads. Huh? I feel like I've seen this place before. We've been here before, just a little while ago. What? You mean we've gone in a circle? It looks like it. Okay, but if we turn around... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? I knew it. Oh my gosh! Please don't do that to me, game. Please don't ever do that again. I, th I, I, I knew it would come back here, but I thought at the very least... I thought that at the very least the door would... Uh, the path would be open. All right, I'm gonna meet you back where we were. I can't believe I got trapped like that. Thankfully, it wasn't too long of a trip since we've already been through all of this before. So there wasn't much to explore. Now then, last room to check is down here. Okay, it's just these things, so they're not that bad. As long as we stay away from- No, that is not staying away from them! <gasps> Jesus Christ! What the- Where the fuck did you come from? God, it bounced right into me! Go, my servbots! They seem to be completely leaving me alone. Oh, no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. They are no longer leaving me alone. Maybe they detect motion? That could explain it, because I've been basically standing still while in these areas. God, are they stacked on top of each other? It looked like they came out of each other. I... Okay. Oh my god, yeah, they just... They're stacked on top of each other or something. God, there's so many! Four left. Okay, you flew over that way. Oh, crap. One of them could sneak attack me and I would scream. Get you, and then you, nope, you. And now, we can circle around and get you finally, since you're no longer behind the wall. Okay, now what is our loot for this? Uh, we do have a card key, right? I think we picked up another one. Of course. All right, here we go. Miss Tron, we found something that looks like a drill inside. That's a super drill. Attach it to the servbot bar. Yes, Miss Tron. Hooray, super drill attached. We now have an even stronger drill which I imagine will do more damage and eventually let us go through more powerful or thicker walls. But there's nothing like that that we've seen and we've explored everything, so let's get going. All right, the door opens, and it's going to be a boss. Eek! There's of beaver bots! This is a beaver bot nest! We can't destroy all of them! Oh, yes, you can! And you're going to! Let's get them! Yes, Mr. Ron! 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. So many. Why are there this many Arukoyan? Why are there this many Arukoyan? They seem to be one big group? All sharing health? Thankfully, I think that super drill is going to be helping us quite a bit in destroying them. And also, thank goodness, they are slow. I just got to get, not get cornered. This is actually not nearly as bad as the Hanmuro doll. Hanmuro doll was big and chasey and awful. This is just a, a, a hive mind of a very slow Arukoitan. Hmm. Turbots are having a bit of trouble actually doing any damage. Look at that, we've hit them how many times and it's barely done anything. Maybe their health knocks off when one gets destroyed? Oh, hi! Where did you come from? Oh, hello. You're the controller. You're the one I need to fight. Got it. I noticed it running around, but I thought I was seeing things. Oh, don't you dare try burning me. Okay, where'd it go? Over here. Hi. They're over there. Oh, you are a coward. Crouching down and breathing fire. Come on. Go for it, Servbots. All right, now we're making some progress. You all stay away from me. Thankfully, I have not really hit, taken a hit yet. This fight... I think this fight is deceptive. Honestly, it looks a lot more scary than it is, but it's honestly fine. Just gotta keep chasing down the one real Otterkoyen while the drones chase after you. As long as we don't get cornered, we should be fine. Oh, come on. Okay, you're gonna hide behind the group. Let's lure them over this way and charge in. Keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. Uh, I should have let them come a little bit closer, but... Slip through. All right, we are getting there. Oh, God! Just a quarter left. Oh, you're gonna hide right next to them. Okay, circle around this way. Hey. Oh, hi, you got in close. Oh, hi, you ran right past me. Okay, let's move, let's move, let's move. Oh no, Sir Bob, please don't be on fire. Uh, you recover eventually, right? I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, yeah, they're fine. And the boss is almost dead anyway. Oh, don't run us over. Now that's just rude. Watch where you're going. Who gave you a walking license? Ow. Okay, I finally got hit.
All right, let's start the post-mission meeting. Give me a report, please. We are able to sell the yellow Aurora Stone for 150,000 zenny. These are all the things we're able to get on this mission. Here are the servbots whose brains ratings went up during the mission. Number one, just number one. And here are the servbots who have returned from scouting, getting us a speed cube. Oh, thank God. From area A2 was number 14. I'm gonna write that down. I'm writing that down. I am writing that down. It has been written down because speed cubes are important. We got some yogurt, and we got an e-bottle too. That's the end of my report. Okay, thank goodness. That was a good mission, and we are almost to the point of paying off our debt entirely. Our next mission will probably do it. Let's see, there are a few things we can do around the ship now. First off, we are going to go find number three. Where is number three? Number three is in the cafe. So we're gonna move on over to the cafe, and I'm gonna give number three that speed cube because I can't do, I cannot. I absolutely cannot do that last uh, that last round of speed training. The chef makes the best curry. It just fills you up with energy. I bet it'll be a while before number 26 can make curry as good as this. Good to hear that you enjoy the curry. I have a gift for you. Speed cube. Speed rating is now four. And number three gained the special skill rapid. What does Rapid do? That's a good question. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. All right, now the number three is dealt with, thank goodness. Our next destination is the lab. And here at the lab, we are going to talk to number 30. Hmm. What is it this time, number 30? If we want to add more tanks to the Gustav, we have to make them lighter somehow. Hmm, lighter, huh? Well, I did find a material called Lightnium. Would that help? Wow, isn't this Lightnium? It's, it's supposed to be the lightest metal known. That's why it's named Lightnium. If we use this, we can make more E-Tanks for the Gustav. Awesome, and now we can go shopping for even more E-Tanks. Oh, those get expensive? But it'll be worth it for the incredible amounts of health we'll get. Let's see. Horseshoe can knock off 10,000. Let's do it. Oh no, that took, puts a big, a big dent in the amount of money we have. Shoot. There is also an E-Tank 5. I'm gonna hold off on building it for right now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on building it for right now. All right, our next destination is going to be the gym. There's nothing in particular that we need to focus on right now. All of the servbots that could use training are now, since number three is at for speed of four, everyone who could use training is done with training. So we're good on that. But I still want to get some training done to get more of my servbots more well-rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and do some training with... Uh, let's do course two. And who do I want to get the speed up for? Who has... Let's go with number eight. All right, got number eight speed to level three, which is the max for number eight. I think off screen I'm actually gonna go ahead and try and max out all the stats I can for all of the first eight serve bots. Just because it feels like it would be a very good idea to have a much wider spread of serve bots available without having to worry so much about, oh yeah, some of their skills are, some of them need to work on their brains, but their other skills are really bad, so it's hard to use them, especially as the game gets more difficult. So yeah, I think off screen I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting the first eight serve bot skills max as much as I can. Obviously I won't be going for speed four, because I physically can't. I might try it, but don't think I will. But yeah, I'll do that off screen.
And last thing we are doing, of course, as usual, is scouting. So let's see. Sending number 14 to space A2 gave a speed cue. What does number 14 have? Number 14 has brains of four. So we want brains of four. That'll be what gets us something good. Then I will send you. And then what's special about A2? A2 has gold city. Got it. Well, go get me another speed cube, please. And who else can we send out? Someone with high brains. Uh, number 13, we can't really do anything with you. Not yet, so I'll send you out to Casino Town Nuki. And then I think I'll send one out to... Send number 19 out to, I'm thinking either Tesh Harbor or Primiki Harbor. Let's go Primiki. And good luck with your scouting. And with that, next time on the Misadventures of Tron Bon. Now that we've done quite a bit to get ourselves buffed up, our Gustav is looking a lot more powerful with four E-Tanks, armor, and other upgrades. Next time on the Misadventures of Tron Bon, we have 234,000 about Zenny left to get to finally pay off our debts. I'm hoping that as difficult as Mission 4 is, we'll be able to pull it off. I will see everyone next time as we head into Mission 4 and hopefully hit that 1 million. I'll see everyone next time for that.